Welcome back to another exciting video lesson. Today, we are going on a journey to the beautiful country of Ireland. Get ready to immerse yourself in its rich culture, diverse dialects, and stunning landscapes. Let's dive right in. 1. Why should ESL learners visit Ireland? Ireland is a captivating destination for ESL learners for several reasons. Firstly, the country offers a unique opportunity to experience different dialects and accents. From Dublin to Cork, Galway to Belfast, each region has its own distinct way of speaking English. For example, in Dublin, you might hear the phrase how ya, which means how are you. In Cork, they might say what's the crack, which means what's happening. These variations provide an excellent chance for language learners to practice their listening skills and adapt to different speech patterns. For instance, instead of saying yes, people might say I or ease. Some common Ulster dialect words include we, small, crack, fun, and ween, child. The Connaught dialect is spoken in the western province of Ireland, known as Connaught. For example, instead of saying goodbye, people might say slan or slate, which means health. Some common Connaught dialect words include gob, mouth, langer, fool, they would say shut your gob. Ireland has a rich cultural heritage that sets it apart from other countries. One notable aspect is the Irish sense of humor, often expressed through sarcasm and wit. Sarcasm is a form of humor where the intended meaning is different from the literal interpretation. For example, it could be raining very hard yet someone would say, Ah, would you look at that lovely Irish weather we're having today? They said the opposite of what you would expect. Sarcasm. How do idioms play a role in Irish English? Idioms are expressions that have a figurative meaning different from their literal interpretation. In Ireland, idioms are commonly used and add color to everyday conversations. For instance, it's raining cats and dogs means it's raining heavily. Another example is The Craig was 90 which means the atmosphere or fun was excellent. Learning these idioms will not only enhance your language skills but also help you connect with locals on a deeper level. Other words and phrases commonly used. A pint of the black stuff. Enter any pub worth its name, ask for a pint of the black stuff and you'll get a pint of Guinness, Ireland's most famous export. What's the crack? What's up? This expression is a fairly common way to say hi and are asking how things are going. Always ask for a lift, never a ride. Most places you can ask for a ride home, but in Ireland please use lift. Can you give me a lift home? Ride is everyday slang for sexual intercourse in Ireland. They will most likely understand what you meant, but you will probably get a smile as you are asking for something else. Ossified. Had a bit too much of the black stuff? If you are feeling drunk, then you are ossified. I'm grand. Grand in Irish English can be used as the equivalent of fine. Let's see if you can understand these sentences. Here are the meanings of the phrases that will be used. Sure, look. It is what it is. Up to 90 very busy. Give it a lash. Give it a go or give it a try. Slagging. Means to make fun of someone. Banjaxed. It's not working or broken. The jacks. Toilet. Leg it. Moving fast. Giving out. To complain. Minus crack. Not fun. Feck. A polite way to say the F word. Shite. Shit. Sure look. Sure look. There's nothing we can do about it now. Up to 90. She's dancing up to 90 at the party. Give it a lash. I've never played tennis before, but I'll give it a lash. Slagging. We were just slagging each other, no harm done. Banjaxed. 
My car broke down on the way to work. It's completely banjaxed. The jacks. Excuse me, where can I find the jacks? Leg it. We saw the bus coming, so we had to leg it to catch it. Giving out. He's always giving out about something, it's exhausting. Minus Craig. The party was minus Craig, everyone seemed bored. Feck. Ah feck it, I forgot my umbrella and now it's raining. Shite. That movie was absolute shite, I wouldn't recommend it. A pint of the black stuff. I'll have a pint of the black stuff, please. What's the Craig? Hey, what's the Craig? Anything interesting happening? What are some cultural differences within Ireland? Despite being a small country, Ireland boasts diverse cultural differences within its regions. For instance, in the west of Ireland, you'll find a strong connection to traditional Irish music and dance, known as Cayley. In contrast, the East Coast, particularly Dublin, is known for its vibrant nightlife and thriving art scene. Exploring these regional differences allows ESL learners to gain a deeper understanding of Irish culture and its people. 5. What are the top tourist areas in Ireland? Now, let's explore some of the must-visit tourist areas in Ireland. The first on our list is the stunning cliffs of Maher. These majestic cliffs offer breathtaking views of the Atlantic Ocean and are a true natural wonder. Next up is the vibrant city of Dublin, where you can explore historical sites like Trinity College and experience the lively atmosphere of Temple Bar. Lastly, we have the enchanting Ring of Kerry, a scenic drive that takes you through picturesque landscapes, charming villages, and ancient ruins. Apart from the well-known tourist areas, Ireland is also home to some hidden gems that most tourists don't know about. Skellig Islands, located off the southwest coast, these remote islands are a USCO World Heritage Site and offer a unique experience for nature lovers and Star Wars fans alike. The final scene of Star Wars, The Force Awakens was shot on Skellig in July 2015, with additional filming taking place there in September 2015 for The Last Jedi, the following film in the series. The remains of the Skellig Michael Monastery appear in the film, representing an ancient Jedi temple. Canemrer, this region in County Galway is known for its wild beauty, rugged mountains, and serene lakes. It's an ideal destination for hikers and those seeking tranquility. Sleeve League Cliffs Often overshadowed by the cliffs of Moher, these lesser-known cliffs in County Donegal are equally stunning and offer a quieter experience. Irish Folklore and Mythology Ireland is steeped in captivating folklore and mythology. Let's explore some legendary figures. Leprahorns these mischievous little creatures are known for their pots of gold hidden at the end of rainbows. Banshees In Irish mythology, banshees are female spirits who wail to foretell death or misfortune. Cuchulainn Cuchulainn is a legendary hero known for his incredible strength and bravery in Irish mythology. Five questions about today's topic. Ireland. 1. What are some examples of Irish dialects and accents?
Two. How is sarcasm used in Ireland? Three. Can you provide examples of Irish idioms? Four. What are some hidden gems in Ireland that most tourists don't know about? Five. What is your favorite part of Ireland? One. What are some examples of Irish dialects and accents? Dublin, how are Which means how are you? Cork accent, in Cork, they might say. What's the Craig? Which means what's happening? 2. How is sarcasm used in Ireland? Sarcasm is a form of humor. 3. Can you provide examples of Irish idioms? Sure look. Up to 90. Give it a lash. Leg it. Giving out. Minus Craig. 4. What are some hidden gems in Ireland that most tourists don't know about? Skellig Islands. Connemara. Sleeve League Cliffs. 5. What is your favorite part of Ireland? Whatever you like is correct. And that concludes our journey through Ireland's language, culture, and mythology. We hope you enjoyed this video and feel inspired to explore the Emerald Isle. Remember, language learning is not just about textbooks, it's about immersing yourself in the rich tapestry of a country's history and traditions. Please support our channel by subscribing if you liked the lesson. We hope that you will join us again for the next in the series, which is the fifth most popular destination for English learners.